Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it's Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. So for things we're making Thursday in October, we're doing Halloween. Um, I know that not everybody's doing Halloween because there are at least a few people who are more into fall, not Halloween. They have their reasons for not celebrating Halloween and all that stuff, which is fine. Um, it's actually quite common, especially in the U.S. Well, okay, it's common in the U.S. for people not to, and then of course, outside of the U.S., very common. Um, U.S. is pretty obsessed with Halloween, which I think is funny when you think about how um, one of the original histories of our country was the witch trials. Um, I think it's funny that that Halloween has become such a big thing. I don't, I don't really know why, but it's okay. It's fun. I like to dress up in costumes. I think it's fun to decorate my house in cute Halloween. My daughter likes spooky Halloween. She'll do cute Halloween, but to each their own. Anyway, um, I have not, as of yet, done anything. I was busy working on a different project, so um, I hadn't quite gotten to this one, but I do have it on my plans for today, so I have a towel. Um, just a regular little hand towel thing with a cute little Halloween thing, and my plan for today is to um, put it on a um, put the blanket stitch on sorry I'm gonna create a towel topper I've been thinking about it I've been thinking about what I want to do how I want to do it um, so I'm gonna do it try to make notes I can't promise pattern that was annoying sneeze in the middle of recording I can't promise a pattern because um, I'm really bad at that part. I created an Easter egg pattern for an Easter egg towel topper, super cute, and I never got it past making my first one. And it just frustrates me that I do that, so I'm not quite sure um, what it's going to take, but I'm hoping that if I share it openly on the channel here that I've made it, I will encourage me to make the thing. So anyway, really cute little Halloween-y thingy um, that I'm hoping to turn into a towel. Um, now, I do have Halloween ones I've made in the past where I just used my dress towel topper in Halloween colors, um, and you can, I'm gonna put it up over here. And link it down below on um, the tutorial. Well, actually, I'll put the towel topper playlist down below if you're watching this well in the future. And I ever did make a Halloween towel topper, it will be down there. So I am hoping to redo some of the videos. I've learned a lot since doing them. I had comments that also both discouraged me and encouraged me at the same time encouraged me to do a better quality job in the future but also really discouraged me tutorials are just hard anyway and then when you get feedback that doesn't feel so good it's it just makes it hard for me <sighs> so yeah anyway i also have another cute towel that's um, Halloween that if I get a chance to, I will work on that one too and show you guys. And if my daughter can get any Halloween stuff done this month, I will show that. And I know that um, a subscriber is working on a Halloween thing that um, she'll send to me um, either next week or the week after, depending on how long it takes her to make it. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to show these different things and um, to celebrate the season, whether you are counting it as fall or whether you are counting it as Halloween. Now, I was thinking about this. In the other half of the hemisphere, um, they're going into, they're in spring, going into summer. 
Um, I don't know what they do for Halloween decorations, if anything. Do they just mimic the jack-o'-lanterns, even though it doesn't make sense? Uh, I just don't know. I've never really even looked. Do they do any kind of a Halloween, and if so, what is it like? Um, I would think that like if you have some desire to, you could do Day of the Dead stuff. Uh, like the little skeleton faces with the extra decorations and stuff from like Mexico. That's not really Southern Hemisphere, but it's getting close to the central where there's less uh, seasons. Um, and do you make, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, would you just make fall stuff that you would then put away for six months and pull it out in the fall? I mean like do you do that? Do you decorate per your current season down there? I'm very, I'm very curious about that. Anyway, just remember to let your light shine through your creations, whether they are crochet, knit, um, cross stitch, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hey, before I go, remember to hook that subscribe button, knit the like button, and leave some yarn in the comments. Now I'll go. Bye.